Okay, so here is my storm shadow before I do anything with it. As you can see, it is essentially ninja force, not cobra. So I need a cobra agent storm shadow. So that's what I plan to do. Here's a look all the way around him. And here's how the arrow looks before I do anything with it. You can see it's all white instead of painted like the red arrows in the shiver or the quiver. So now let's take a look at, at the final product. Okay, so here is my custom storm shadow now. And, uh, yeah, uh, why couldn't Hasbro do this? For starters, this is a Toy Hex Cobra label. And I used, uh, this set here from Toy Hex. And this is a little cloth strap that I had uh, sewn together. Let me show you. Sewn together and then glued in specific spots. And so now I have a storage for the hook, for his hook weapon. And I just painted a little belt buckle right here a little marker and I made an attempt to paint the arrow as you but as you can see the paint comes off the just wants to scrape off here and it's difficult to get in and out of his hand so but as you can see I painted him white of a black white clip the skirt so completely off just went down to this part here and did this in black here as well as the belt that way it looks like he has a black belt with white attachments off of him and I just lost the hook okay it's not important at the moment Oh, I can. In this, I made sure I got the elbows too. You can get that going on. Focus. There we go. Just that. So now I have the actual Coburg Storm Shadow. And the G.I. Joe Storm Shadow now. And as you can see, compare it with here, this molded detail. I shaved off and put the Cobra emblem there. And with snake eyes. That looks great. With 
căn hộ with Red Ninja with all the Red Ninjas with Cobra Commander with Cobra Commander And with the Baroness. And she wouldn't want to naturally. <laughs> with the Copa Coil. with this cobra background and with this cobra background so that's it Thanks for watching.